blurry? Okay. All right. So I just got back home from work and it's Monday. And next week is my summer vacation. I am a, a teacher in South Korea in a private school. And private schools have very limited vacations because they double as like daycares, so to speak. So when parents obviously have, have to work, they can't take the two month vacation that um, uh, elementary schoolers, middle schoolers, and high schools can. They need a place to put their kids, and so they send them to us. And we get at least one week off, usually in August, and that is next week. I'm very excited for it. And I thought, why not do a project? So, <laughs> for my birthday, two months ago, I got yarn. Very fun, colorful yarn, um, all the way from Lithuania, sent by my um, Sambadam Narose. Very sweet of them to do that. It was very, very cool coming uh, home to find a giant box of yarn. So I'm going to measure and see what, first what gauge I need to do. Um, so this I have 50 grams to do a full on sweater. They recommend I need 4,000 or no, 400, 400. Oh my goodness. This is why I teach English. I'm not good with the numbers. So I need 400 and I have 50 grams per ball times 12. That is two, four, six, eight, ten, five hundred. Okay, so according to this, I have enough for a sweater for at least the knitted version. I'm used to making blankets in much, much larger projects. Um, the smallest project I think I've ever made are baby shoes, and those worked up so quick that it's not really precise because children grow super fast. All right, so to start, I need to get my iPad and to do that so let me go grab that now okay so I have finished my first little square um, I have to say I'm I'm liking these colors um, they are fitting in well together again this is only the first square I've made six different color combinations and I'll need she says about 72 I think I'll do one of each as I go just to see you know just use the colors um, I think it'll be fun definitely once I incorporate um, this bright orange as well as the light pink I think it'll be adding for some fun combos um, we'll see I am finally on a summer vacation it is July 31st I'm ready is early in the morning. It's well, not early anymore. It's 8.50 in the morning. Um, I woke up early out of habit, um, but I'm excited. I have nine days to just relax, crochet, um, and get this cardigan rolling. I have my iPod, iPad ready to go. Um, my pods. And let me show you what I've done. So I have worked on the sweater for a little bits of time um, over this past week, just so that way I would see, really gauge how much yarn I'm using. And they're looking nice. I enjoy them at this point in terms of the color scheme and how they look next to each other. Um, in their stacks, I've made about three of each. So, um, and I still have a good bouts of yarn left from my first set because again I have two balls of each color and I'm still only on my first so yeah it's time for more time lapses <laughs> Okay, so I'm just updating in terms of like the yarn that I thought I would need more of. I am finishing up my first round of yarn. Um, I still have one more of each of these skeins and I've made a total of about nine of these squares for each color 
and I only need 12 for each color for the design I'm doing. So I know for a fact now I have more than enough of these square colors. I'm still a bit concerned about if I have enough color to actually join all this together because again it's just the two skeins of the darker blue color but I think it's going to be a we'll see as we go <laughs> kind of situation but yeah I'm loving the color schemes I think it's going together very well and I will be back to update soon Turns out they're also on summer break the same time I'm on summer break, so obviously I just came back home instead. So I have finished all the pieces in terms of crocheting the individual squares. I just need to weave in the ends, which takes me forever, but I've weaved in most of them. I think I'm down to the last 20 or so, so over two thirds of the way done. I'll montage it to motivated so it is afternoon on what, five o'clock 5 20 on Wednesday I took a break from crocheting today I'm actually all done with crocheting the squares itself it's just finishing up the ends each of the squares has eight ends each and I don't like sewing <laughs> I don't like sewing or weaving in the ends it's not fun for me but it is part of the process and I do feel very accomplished when it's all said and done. I am starting to lay out what the cardigan will look like in terms of where I want the pieces because I have six different color schemes and I want them to not overlap with each other, which can be done, but again, it might be, I wanted it to be very random, but by only making six different color schemes, I realized that's just not gonna happen. So yeah, so I have my water water. I have my bag of pieces. It's time to time lapse again. And I do have pieces and parts and I keep pushing the puzzle away. Um, my floor is not the cleanest, but I am pretty much ready to go. Originally, I wanted to have this be a rest day. So far, what I've been doing is taking one day crocheting, one day as a rest. But I'm feeling motivated. Um, I'll see how I feel once I piece these all out really quick. And then I will start uh, crocheting it together. To do that, I will need the video again from YouTube. I'm not doing it exactly to the YouTube specifications. For example, this yarn is not a four weight, it's a two weight. So instead of doing only three rounds, I did four. So I did make a bit more and she did 12 color combinations. I only did six color combinations. So mine will have a bit more of a pattern to it, a bit more repetition as well as I'm also adding more squares. She made it kind of like a crop top with ribbing, so it reaches down to the belt line. And I don't have that much yarn for ribbing, and I prefer the effect of uh, the granny squares itself. So I added an extra row um, on the front part, which was an extra eight, an extra eight uh, granny squares I made. And yeah, so I'm going to put it together now so you can actually see it with me once I move my, my carpet out of the way that I also made. And you can see the lovely mess of cords and cables. I am getting a side table. I just haven't decided. There's like five different ones that are all very similar. And once I make my decision, eventually that will be cleaned up. But for now, <laughs> it's a mess. So yeah, it's time to put things together.
Okay. So this is what I've got. I have the front panel, which has two extra that will combine to the back. Um, and my two sleeves. I think I'll do the sleeves first just because they're identical, but I wanna make sure this is done well, this is done right, and yeah, time to put it all together.